program. Adult Basic was shut down by Governor Tom Corbett shortly after he took office because he said it was too expensive. The program provides health insurance for low-income adults. The Department of Health considering closing nearly half of the state's health centers. Health officials saying each center cost about $20 million a year to operate. Plan to close 25 centers would mean cutting 73 possession, positions, including 26 nurses. On January 1st, all Americans are to have health coverage. Governor Corbett has resisted signing on to the federal Affordable Care Act because he says Pennsylvania can't afford it. But today he played let's make a deal with the Obama administration and laid out terms and conditions under which he will agree. For critics like the Commonwealth Foundation, a free market think tank, say the concern is private premiums for the poor, especially for those on welfare, will become too expensive. Senate Democrats remain convinced the best and most effective option for the newly eligible individuals in Pennsylvania is the existing Medicaid program. He did say yesterday he wants to use the Medicaid dollars to buy private insurance policies rather than expanding government roles. What is that, that could be you? that could be problematic because uh, if the private insurers' product are more expensive than the health exchanges would be, who's going to pay the difference? So what the governor is doing is shoveling a lot of money to the private insurers. Uh, and it's arguable whether or not that's a, an appropriate thing to do. It's going to cost a lot more money. For the Pennsylvania Budget and Policy Center, and he says while they're happy that Governor Corbett is working to get more Pennsylvanians health care, the Pennsylvania Budget and Policy Center hopes this doesn't lessen health care benefits for those who already receive them. It's important that any plan to expand health coverage, that it not come at the expense of the children, seniors, and people with disabilities who are currently receiving Medicaid benefits. The Democratic Obama administration has to sign off on this Republican governor's plan. I believe he's really setting it up for failure. Linda Anthony is with the Disability Rights Network of Pennsylvania. She's relied on Medicaid in the past. Is that health care package he's putting together for everybody going to fit? everybody and is it going to provide the same level of service they were getting before our concern is that it won't democratic state senator rob teplitz worries the proposal is coming too late we know an easier way to get there is by what the federal government has already approved and other states will be implementing january 1st but here we are september 16th with a concept the governor is pushing his health care plan again, and conservatives are pushing back. Today, it prompted more Republican infighting. As Governor Corbett works on getting reelected, he's going to have to convince fiscal conservatives he's the right choice. Less than a day after the Republican governor unveiled a major health care initiative, a Republican lawmaker blasted it. As he read his pre prepared remarks, um, he was painfully making his way through them, and he was not moving the shells fast enough to fool the voters.